So today I'm going to share uh, how we're repairing a cracked sewer line. Uh, we had a, a backup and had to have a plumber come clean it out. And what they did as part of that process was they located uh, the, the location of the break, which they can do with, it's like a $10,000 piece of equipment with a video camera on it. So he was able to pinpoint the exact location of the break. And that whole service was just under $600. It would have been another thousand for them to dig it up and fix it. So I'm going to show you how I saved a thousand dollars by buying my own parts. Um, there's, a, there's a little bit of a trick to getting the right parts. So I'm going to show you what we did. Um, so here we go. Okay, so this is where I dug up the broken uh, section of the line that was marked from the grass above. This piece here was the culprit, and it, it was a bend in the pipe that had cracked. Probably when they built the house, they put too much stress on this joint, and these two pipes that are supposed to be at a 45 coming into this angle uh, were probably stretched and not quite at the right configuration, so it cracked and it's, it's broken, and this eventually backed up the sewer because of root intrusion, things growing in there and making it where the uh, water can't pass through. So I'll show you the parts you need to get. Um, it, it's not the four inch. Uh, this, this sewer line is a thin wall pipe and it's different than the, than the standard four inch that's made for PVC under pressure. So I'll show you the parts you need to fix it. You follow me? Yep. So at the big box store, at least as far as I can tell, all you can buy is a, is a 10 foot piece of sewer pipe with a bell end on it. And that's that thin stuff. And then you can, and then all the connectors you can buy like this elbow here that we're using to replace the one that broke. These are all made for the full pressure, um, the, 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 the actual four inch PVC. So you gotta get that, and you gotta get a short section of, of four inch PVC. And you can see this here, this is my short section. See how thick that, that pipe wall is? That's bigger than, than the sewer pipe, which has got the smaller wall thickness, okay? Um, so unless you can get a 45 like this, which actually I wouldn't recommend because you see how easy they break. Um, this one here is a full, you know, full thickness PVC. It's a lot stronger. So what you do is you get the, you get the short piece of four inch pipe. That's about 25 bucks. This here is the 45, and what we're going to do, we're going to glue, we're going to cut that in half, and we're going to glue these together to make our replacement section. And then these boots on the end, what you need to do is get a tapered boot. This is called 4x4, four four, and that's that's to go into, that connects the, the bigger section to the smaller section. And that's different from this 4-inch coupling, which doesn't have the transition on it. So about that, that's the wrong piece. I had to go back and get this. Make sure when you buy them that they've got bands on both sides. Particularly at Lowe's, where they're not as careful about keeping things up straight, they'll um, people go in and steal them, and you'll buy this without two bands, and you'll get it home, and you won't have what you need. So, uh, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, so this tapered boot has a ridge inside, and the clamp is going to tighten that ridge around this bigger pipe. But they're really hard to get on. Uh, we've got one on already. The other one, I'm going to try to try a different way and see if this works. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to push it, lay it down on the ground, and put, try to push it through like this, because that seemed to work once we finally got it. So what you want to do is you get you get that in there and this seats down on the place where it starts to taper and you make a mark there because when we when we install the when we install it we're going to push this sleeve down uh, so that at the joint we've got a, a good transition and then we'll we'll bring that back to the mark when it's in the ground and then the other pipe will line up right there and then we'll, we'll get both of the get the uh, hose clamps back on and make sure we have those on before we do that and better to take them off when you're working with it so you don't bend them and we mark this so when we when we're in the ground we can Bring that right to where it needs to be. How's that? So now we'll eyeball the center of this, and cut it, so we can glue these two connections, and that'll create our, our 45 degree bend, and then we can go mark the outside to cut exactly where we need to be. So now we've dry fit these two halves on our elbow, and we can see from here we're going to need to make this one shorter. I only exposed a smaller piece of pipe and on the other side I think we'll be okay. So I'm gonna cut that to length and then start gluing things together and put it in place. Hey, we've got our elbow glued together, shortened. And we're gonna put it right here and look at the line that connects the two through that angle. And then we're gonna mark where we wanna cut it, which is about right there. See, and if you hold it, you can see, see that's, that's where the angle was off. That's why the other one was cracked. Exactly. So you need to make some play from there through this line over here and that's gonna need to have a little play which those rubber boots should help us with that correction. That's why we don't want to cut everything too tight, right? But you also don't want it so short that the clamps don't don't, exactly. grab, don't grab it. Exactly. So we'll mark all that and get the right cuts made to, to fit it in there. Okay, now to prepare to mark the precision cut, we're gonna slide the boot back on the, the replacement pipe so that we know just where to cut the uh, the existing line where they're going to meet together. Okay, so on this end we're going to align this with the place where they where they meet. And then on the other end that's going to give us our place where we want to cut right there. Right there. 
okay that one is on that end where it goes and over here we took a little too much but we're hoping that the um as we as we close the boot over that that the the boot will be able to close that gap and we should be okay hopefully so now we're going to put the hose clamps back on and make sure that they're oriented so that you can get to the tightener screw you don't want to put it in in there backwards because you won't be able to turn that okay so we i got my helper to get everything in place and i tightened this end and now on this end we're going to slide the boot until we see that red mark we made earlier and then tighten everything down we'll get our hose clamps tightened down and then that's it and cover it back up all right we've got that line exposed and now we can tighten these down and that's it now here you can see that ain't the problem with the angle is that this is nice and straight and then make that 45 and then there's a little kink and that was what caused the break in the other line but this in this case the rubber boot helps make up for that slight deflection so that's the finished product right there and we're going to use a nut driver to tighten down the hose clamp a couple of bonus footage items here for you whenever i dig a hole i always put down a sheet right next to the hole and i'll make my cuts in the grass and then fold the grass over put the sheet there and then all the dirt that comes out of the hole goes onto the sheet so that when you put the hole back together later you don't lose a bunch of dirt in your grass the other thing is if you had your utilities marked like i did after paying the plumber it was included with the 575 dollars was marking utilities so maybe take a few pictures of these lines <laughs> almost fell over but as you can see here the electric box it's a straight line from here to to my power service so i know where the electric is in the future yep all right last step got the dirt back in the hole all covered up flip these flip those side pieces tamp that down it's good as new